Hi everybody, Mr Kerr here. Um, today we're going to be doing a practice investigating the reactivity of the group to alkaline earths. Um, so we're going to be looking at the difference in reactivity between calcium and magnesium. So what I've set up here is a, a few test tubes. We've got two test tubes here, some magnesium strip. I'm not sure if you can see that in the video there. Magnesium in this one. And then we have a strip of calcium in this one. So we have magnesium and calcium, sorry about that. And the first uh, reactivity that we're going to investigate is just reactivity with some water. So I've got a beaker here and we've got some boiling water. I'm going to pop that in there. And we're just going to pop in a bit of boiling water first of all with the magnesium. And what we're looking for here is bubbling. And I'll give that a bit of an agitation. And I'm not really seeing too much, too much bubbling there. I'm not sure if you can make that out on the video. I'm not getting any bubbling at the moment. So we'll see if we can heat this up on the Bunsen burner to get some more bubbling happening. Of course, bubbles being an indication that a reaction is happening. Using our proper scientific techniques of waving the test tube backwards and forwards on the blue flame, not just holding it in the one spot, that'll pop. See if we can get this boiling and see if we can get an increase in the amount of bubbling, the reaction between magnesium and the water. Still not much bubbling happening there. I don't know if you can make that out in the video, but nothing really happening there at the moment. Remember waving it through the Bunsen burner starting to hear something now so perhaps boiling is on the way getting some condensation in the test tube okay so that's getting quite hot now that's starting to boil and if you look really closely there are quite a few bubbles forming on the surface of the magnesium. So suggesting that there's some sort of reactivity going al along, but not a whole lot. So a bit of reactivity there, but not a whole lot. And we have to boil that to get that reactivity happening. So I'm going to pop that back there. Now let's have a look at the calcium. So that was the magnesium. Let's have a look at the calcium again. We have our boiling water from the kettle. And I'm just going to tip that in. Let's give that a bit of agitation. And straight away that's fizzing. I'll bring that closer to the camera so you can see that. but you can see that fizzing away. So the magnesium just forms some bubbles only after a lot of heating with the, the test tube and now it's quite a vigorous reaction. We get a, a milky powder, milky solution forming, lots of bubbles. You might be able to hear it there as well. So even without having to heat that on the Bunsen burner, we're getting a lot of reactivity from the calcium there compared with the magnesium. So the conclusion is just from water alone, calcium more reactive than magnesium and of course calcium is further down the periodic table in group 2 the alkaline earth compared with magnesium. Now our next test will be to test the same two metals we have magnesium and we have calcium again but this time with hydrochloric acid and acid and metals usually cause quite significant reactions so we might expect something greater here to happen. So I've got some hydrochloric acid. Let's just see in the first instance what happens with magnesium. So I've got a magnesium strip here. 
and we would expect greater reactivity with the magnesium and hydrochloric acid compared with water. And look, straight away we're getting bubbles. And indeed we could do the pop test with this one where we put our thumb over and I might try that see if we can get some hydrogen gas. So straight away milky colour, some fizzing. So the reactivity of magnesium with hydrochloric acid much greater than that with water. Let's see if we can get the pop test going. There we go. Made that little whoop, whooping sound suggesting hyd hydrogen gas was being generated. Alright, let's try that test now with the calcium. We might expect something quite significant here because we know that calcium was more reactive with water. Let's test it with the hydrochloric acid. I'm not going to put as much in. I don't want a too excessive reaction. And it might take a little bit of time to get going. And again, straight away, quite a vigorous reaction there. You can hear it. See that reaction again, calcium, more vigorous reaction than magnesium. See if we can get the pop test going again. It's my last match. Hold my thumb over to let that gas build up. See if we can hear the pop. Didn't work on that instance, but in any case, the reaction was much more vigorous. And look, that metal has completely dissolved. Completely dissolved there for the calcium. But for the magnesium, we can see the strip is still there. It's turned to white now as the oxide is formed. The conclusion, calcium much more reactive than magnesium. And if we see in the group 2 alkaline earths, that calcium is located beneath magnesium in that group, group 2, suggesting that the further down that group we go, the more reactive that we get. Well, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I uh, hope you're enjoying learning at home. Thanks.